assalamu alaikum and welcome uh, in this video i am going to show you how you can annotate an image using an online tool actually uh, data annotation is a process of labeling data to make it understandable for a machine learning or a deep learning model uh, it is very useful there are different types of uh, data annotation uh, like image anno annotation uh, text annotation audio or video annotation so in this video we will focus on image annotation uh, so you know, we are going to use an online tool which is vgg uh, image annotation go over google and search for vgg image annotator like you can see here so just click on that and here you can see uh, the website to this online tool just click on that here is the web page vgg image annotator or via so here are different uh, demonstrations uh, this is for image annotation this is for video annotation and here you can see uh, it's for audio annotation and so on so we are going to focus on image annotation so just click on that i'll paste the link of this in video description so here you can see there are uh, two images the first one you can see here we have an image and in that image we are just pointing out the uh, object and similarly uh, we have another image here we have different objects so i'm just going to uh, delete these files so that i can upload a different file and show you how we can annotate images in this tool so first of all upload your images that you want to uh, annotate so you can do this by click on, clicking on add files you can upload a single image or multiple images as well so i'm going to just upload this one so here you can see we have that image in our online tool similarly you can upload multiple files for this i'll show you so you can see we have three images in this tool the second thing is uh, you have to define the attributes that you are going to label in those images like suppose uh, for this image we have different shapes so let's create attribute of shape for that you can see here we have a list of attributes that are already in that so that is name type and image quality you can remove that and those as well so for simplicity i am just going to remove for that you just write the name in this box and click on minus so it will ask you are you sure to delete this attribute so just click on ok and similarly now we have type and image quality so now i'm going to um, delete this type attribute and similarly for image quality so you can see here we have no attributes so let's create our own attribute that is shape and click on ok so it will create an attribute for you in this image you can see we have different uh, shapes like square rectangle circle and triangle so just create those in our attribute so for this you can uh, you have to choose uh, a checkbox text radio button image or drop down for simplicity i'm just going to click on uh, i'm going to use radio so here you can uh, type the name circle rectangle triangle and finally we have a square so these are our labels that we want to show in our image so uh, here we have different uh, shapes that we can use to annotate our images or select an area in our image so let's uh, start labeling these images so before uh, for that first we have to choose a particular region shape from here like i want to annotate a rectangle first so like here we have a rectangle so just you can see so here you can see we have an attribute shape and by default it uh, assigned label one to this particular shape and uh, we can also select this as well because this is a rectangle and uh, then we go for circle so you can see okay and similarly for other circle okay and then we can go for a square this is a square 
and this is also a square and then okay this is also a square and then we have to use uh, we have to annotate or we have to give a label to this triangle but we don't have a, this particular in our region shape so we just use this one and you can start selecting the area okay okay and this so once you have done with the selecting the area just click enter so you can see so here you can see we have uh, eight different labels and it automatically assigns one two three four five and six seven uh, numbers to those uh, you know areas so if you, we want to show our own labels so for that just go into project settings and by default it is assigning region label as one to three so you just select your attribute that you have just created that is shape and similarly uh, you can assign colors on the basis of the shapes so select this and just click on save so you can see uh, here it is undefined now so just click on region that you have just selected in that particular image and assign label like this is a square you can see now it's changed to square and similarly this is also a square and this is rectangle this is circle this one is mm, square and this is a square oh, sorry circle this is triangle and this one is a rectangle so you can see we have an image and in that image we have assigned different labels to our area of interest or region of interest and then uh, you can uh, save your project by going to project and save and you can change the name of the project like demo and okay so this will download a json file for your project and you can upload the same project if you want to work on other files later on so just go to project and load and load that particular file and uh, if you want to download the image that you have just annotated so just go to annotation and click on download as image so you can see this image is downloaded and you can see we have now labels with those shapes so this is uh, quite simple let's do a little complex task so we have supposed this uh, another image and you want to uh, annotate this so let's create another attribute that is a suppose object you can name it what you want and just click on plus icon and then we have Two different objects first one is butterfly and the second one is flower so let's create now we create drop down just to show you different flavor of this so we have butterfly and the second object is flower okay so now we have not uh, you know square circle or triangle so we, we can use this uh, polygon and start selecting the area so start and then select area of interest according to the shape of the object so you, you have to select exactly the area that belongs to the project okay once you are done just click enter you can see that this is our uh, butterfly but it is undefined because uh, we have not defined the label yet and now we have to select the area of this flower so let's start this the selection for this flower
I'm just drawing it randomly so you have to be precise in your case and once you have done just click enter so you can see we have uh, selected both the objects now again go to settings and uh, assign labels as per object and colors as per object and just click on save so you can see okay now you can select this uh, object so this is butterfly and similarly this is flower so you have annotated the second image as well so just click on annotation and download image as a, and download as image and I click on this so you can see you have annotated the other image as well that's it